Cape Town, South Africa. One of the most extraordinary places in this world. A place that you will never come across twice. A few months ago, I had the chance to experience the beauty of Cape Town for two weeks firsthand and was simply just blown away by its breathtaking mountains, stunning beaches and its diverse nature. During my time there, I tried almost every activity possible and yet I was lucky enough to be accompanied by the amazing family of my South African girlfriend who showed me and my camera the city and nature in the most unforgettable way. So it's finally time to share all those incredible experiences and activities with you. Good morning guys. So we just started our hike up towards Table Mountain, which is one of the most favorite mountains here in Cape Town. And it's definitely a thing to do when you're in Cape Town. The problem is we forgot to set an alarm. We actually wanted to wake up at 5 a.m. Instead, we woke up at 6.30, now it's already 8. So I would recommend really making sure you wake up pretty early because the sun is gonna become blazing hot. And I'm curious how we're gonna survive that. But it should be one of the most beautiful hikes here in Cape Town. And of course, I will take you guys along so you can decide if you also maybe wanna try it out if you're here. Hurry up, mate. Hurry up, mate. I hope you buy a bottle of water. Don't stress me, Last few steps towards the dam. Our next goal for a small break. What do you think so far of the hike, Tosh? Still not broken. The motivation is still there. Ah, let's see. Should be beautiful. All the people coming down with smiles while we on the way up are miserable. We just made it up to the dams and it literally took us, let me check real quick, four hours and 20 minutes. But you gotta say we also got lost in the way and took a wrong turn which like probably cost us around 30 minutes and we took a lot of videos and pictures. So I think if you hike it up fast it's doable in three, maybe three and a half hours. Can't wait to swim in the water now. finished our quick pit stop, swam in the water for some refreshment, ate some snacks, drank some water and now we are up to the top which should be only one third of the way left. I'm curious how it's gonna look from up there. One third, one third only, two thirds already done. So we just made it up to Table Mountain and it is a stunning view but I gotta say we definitely underestimated the hike. It literally took us almost 7 hours and, to be exact, 6, six hours and 45 minutes. Yeah. Yes, I, I know I have it on my phone. I, I have it on my phone. I wanna see. I have my phone. I wanna see. I think he's so, lying. No I'm not. Lying. No I'm not. Lying. So, what, the, what the proof guys? Hammer warming again, you can see it here maybe. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. 
still running and now we're gonna make our way down with the cable cart and then we're gonna take an uber to the point where we started at newlands forest because hiking this down not gonna lie we're or at least i'm not that fit for it seven hours hiking up a mountain was enough and later it's time for some nice and tasty good food So we're on the way to Christenbosch right now. There should be one of the most beautiful botanic gardens in the world. I've never been there. I only have been to some botanic gardens in Europe, which, yeah, I'm coming. We're kind of disappointing. So I'm really curious about this one and I'm gonna take you guys, of course, along. So you can know if that is a thing to do in Cape Town. One cool thing about this botanical garden, it has a walkway above a part of the garden. It's a wooden walkway and it's really beautiful because you also have a view over the mountain and the rest of the garden. And it's just one small part of it. We're gonna continue and explore even more. One must thing you have to do in Cape Town is definitely hiking up Lion said. It is a pretty easy hike, I would say it will take you around oh, out of breath already. Two hours and you're gonna walk around the whole Lion Set and have all the time a really stunning view. And we're gonna see how easy or hard it actually is and how long we need and hope that we can witness a nice sunset.
Currently on our way down from Lion's Head and I gotta say the hike was not too bad. It was pretty easy and it actually went by pretty fast. I think it took us one and a half hours and we were presented with one of the most beautiful sunsets. Of course here in Cape Town almost every day the sunsets are just stunning. So I would recommend if you want to have Lion's Head pretty much for yourself you should hike it up in the morning rather than in the afternoon as we did because it got pretty crowded but one thing is for sure even though it gets pretty crowded you will get a spot for your sunset where you can watch it peace and enjoy this beautiful surrounding of nature city and ocean guys in the mood for a more chill day after all these hectic activities I can highly recommend clay cafe if you're in the mood to make your own mugs cups or even bowls while eating some delicious food it's the right place for you it's really relaxing beautiful scenery and you're gonna have a lot of fun so try it out for a more relaxing day In next week's episode, we explore Africa's most southern point. On our way, we encounter breathtaking landscapes paired with a magical sunrise, till our car gets stopped by a wild baboon family. Oh, and I also learned what an ostrich is. What the f***? <laughs> 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 Gary, you definitely don't want to miss out on this one.